Anthony Ferraro, not here. Um, and then Daphne Hawks. Daphne, you? Yes. Okay. Sir? Hi, my name is Jesse Thompson Adams, and I was civil union on June 23rd this year. And I just talk about a couple things that have come up for me. Nothing hugely life threatening, but uh, one example of a problem I've had uh, my husband works for a company that uh, I do have equal health benefits, but he gets a cafeteria card. Uh, because their deductible is 1100 a year, and so he gets this credit card. He gets 1800 a year to go toward his deductibles. Uh, I'm a civil union partner. I don't get it. If I was married, if he could get, show them a marriage certificate, I'd get 1800 too. Um, the company's not in Massachusetts. I mean, they're using ERISA as the, ex as the excuse, but I'm curious if they had uh, stores up in Massachusetts, if it would be the same thing. Uh, today, actually, I, I have a PayPal account. Uh, I do business with that, and it's like a bank account, and I went to change my name and uh, to my married name, and I had to show a photo ID with my driver's license, which has my correct name, and then to prove that uh, it was because I was married or whatever, I had to show a marriage certificate, a divorce paper, or a court order. And I didn't have any of them, and they wouldn't take it. So I'm actually kind of curious what I'm supposed to do. I, I could close the account and start another one with a different email account, but this is what's set up. And uh, also, even when I went to the DMV to change my name, our names, uh, we both wanted the same last name, Thompson Adams. And uh, at first, they wouldn't do it. They said either I had to take his last name, or we could both hyphenate our names with our uh, married uh, husband's name at the at the end, but we couldn't both have the same name. And uh, finally, the manager of the DMV, we went and got him. Coincidentally, the same day as our civil union, he was at a civil union, and he said his friends were having the same problem. And he said, well, no one's told me that I can't do this, so I'll do it until they tell me I can't. But still, I had to go through all this whole, we were there like an hour trying to get this done. And the last thing, I mean, those are kind of like real things where the word marriage would make a difference. Uh, the last one is just, my husband's family's cut him off. They're Pentecostal Christians. Um, he really doesn't have any contact with them anymore. And uh, one of the reasons we got civil union as quickly as we did is he's really terrified that if something happens to him, they would swoop in and, and take him away. And um, we actually both walk around with, with these flash drives that have our health care directives and our power of attorneys that I paid a lot of money to Stephen Hyland there to write up. <laughs> and um, and, and they, they give us... <laughs> more than I'm used to spending. <laughs> but anyway, um, you know, these are rights that if we were married, I mean, I, I get in, in New Jersey that we, we're, we're not supposed to have to worry about that, but we also don't want to take that chance in an emergency or a crisis. And definitely if we were out of state, I th you know, I think if we had the word marriage, it would help a little for them to get it. I mean, but the fact that I've got to carry this thing around all the time because we're so scared is, is very sad. And I hope that you change the word to marriage so that I can get the cafeteria plan and not have to worry about this. Thank you.